Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach and we are doing some more AP Physics review. So today we're going to be looking at a question on um, an old free response question from uh, looks like 1976 from the AP Physics exam. So this is the Physics B exam. Again, it's a little bit different, but the math, the math you should still be able to do. Okay, so let's see what we got here. I got two guide rails for the elevator shown that exert a constant friction force of 100 newtons on the elevator car when the elevator car is moving upward with an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. The pulley has negligible friction and mass. Assume g equals 10. On the diagram below, draw and label all forces acting on the elevator car. Okay, elevator car. On the elevator car itself, it's got um, the rope. Tension from the rope. It's got gravity on it. Um, do, 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 do. This is from the rope. This is gravity. And um, the, 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 the guide rails, there's a friction. Now, because um, in this case he's moving upward, the friction is going to oppose his motion, so there's a force of friction here. <laughs> From the guardrail. Okay, and those are all little forces. There's no other forces. This counterweight is acting through the rope, so it's really the rope only um, going up there. All right, so that's that's that. I got three forces: grab, uh, friction, tension, gravity. I calculate the tension of the cable lifting the 400 kilogram elevator in upward acceleration of 10. Okay, net force equations. Uh, we'll say upward is positive, and downward is negative. So T minus force of friction minus mg is my net force. And that has to equal mass times acceleration. Uh, so I want to calculate the tension. So T is equal to ma plus mg plus the force of friction. Now, what do I know about it? I know the the thing is 400 kilograms. So this is really 400 kilograms. The acceleration is two meters per second squared, plus mg is 400 kilograms times 10 meters per second squared, plus the force of friction, which they tell us is 100 newtons. So the tension is equal to the sum of these. 800 plus 4,000, 4,800, 4,900 newtons. Yeah. All right. See, calculate the mass of the counterweight must have to raise the elevator car with an acceleration of two meters per second squared. Okay. So now that we know that, now let's let's do the free body diagram on the counterweight. I got a tension here, and I got an mg going down here, right? So his net force equation, in this case, because I know he's going downward, I'm going to say down is positive when I do this equation. Okay, so then I have mg minus t is equal to m times the acceleration. Now this counterweight has to move at the same acceleration with this elevator car, right? Because they got to move in tandem, they got to move together. So this is 2 meters per second squared, so I just need to solve for m. So I know T, I just, uh, yeah, so I'm going to combine, um, bring over here mg minus ma equals T, or m times g minus, factor out the m, and m is equal to T over g minus a. Now T was 4,900, g, g is 10 meters per second squared, a is 2 me meters per second squared, so this is 4,900 newtons divided by 8 meters per second squared. And that is, um, I don't feel like pulling out my calculator, so that's 6, uh, 1, 2.5 kilograms. Okay, and that is that question. So I hope you found that helpful. It's always the same. Whenever you have a problem like this, it's always a free body diagram, net force equation, set it equal to MA. And yeah, so I'll see you in the next um, 
next uh, dynamics problems or statics problems that we, we do. Next video. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.